Hello and welcome to Friday Night Football. On play. Hello. Hello and welcome to play on to Friday Night Football on PlayOnSports.com. It's the PlayOnSports.com pregame show live from Prairie City Stadium in Folsom, California. I'm Ben Schneider with Joey Gonzalez on your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. Tonight's matchup features a visiting Buhack Thunder against the host Folsom Bulldogs. The Thunder come into tonight's action with an overall record of 10-2, while the home team, the Folsom Bulldogs, are a perfect 12-0 on the year. The teams are, the captains are out on the field getting ready for the coin toss, and I want to welcome in my broadcast partner, Joey Gonzalez. Well, Joey, a semifinal game here tonight at Folsom for a chance to play for the section title next week. Uh, kind of a tale of two teams that do two similar things, but either way, I think it's going to be a highly contested game here tonight. It is, it is. It's a rematch of the 20, 2010 uh, Sac Joaquin section semifinal between these two teams. Uh, obviously Folsom went ahead and went on that year. Not only did they go ahead and win the section, but they went ahead and once went on to win state that year in 2010. But it's the run game versus the pass game here between these two offenses. Both of these off both of the two offenses kind of approach a uh, you know a, a speed up, hurry up mentality. Although with Folsom uh, sitting back there with quarterback Jake Browning, sophomore quarterback Jake Browning, who's thrown for 55 touchdowns this year, unreal, and that's good unreal. enough. That's good enough to lead the state there as a sophomore. So you can one can only imagine what he's going to look like as a senior. But he's already playing like a senior so uh talk about growth potential looking over at uh, so buhack colony has got their hands full full but it's for folsom folsom's gonna have to contend with a two-headed russian monster rushing monster behind leon miles and stefan gold leon miles rushing for 1018 yards and 15 touchdowns this year stefan gold with 1074 yards and 19 touchdowns they like like to feature the fly sweep so they like to get up and down the field and we could uh, and you remember last week against uh antelope joe marquez back there at quarterback his, his scrambling ability can really keep plays alive with his feet so if you get to the quarterback it's not as set, all said and done if you put pressure on joe marquez because uh, joe marquez can make something happen out of nothing absolutely we're going to continue the play on sports.com pregame show right after we give you the national anthem right here on the play on high school sports network we can get a player up here oh that's good stuff all right perfect prepare a wiley ballard right. graphic do you want me to start the stream we start the stream camera three beautiful Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard right. graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. And welcome back to the Play on Sports.com pregame show. Enjoy. The, we might just have a shootout here tonight. I'm looking at the numbers on the year. Uh, scoring averages, Folsom averages 46.9 points per game. Buhat Colony 43.4. Buhat Colony, you mentioned it, heavy on the ground. 347 yards to Folsom's 136 to Passings, where it's the complete opposite. It's 78 for Buhat Colony and 376 for Folsom. How about total yards for both these teams? 425 yards per game for Buhat Colony and 513 for Folsom. We might have a 56-51 game here tonight, Joey. 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so both of these two de defenses had their work cut out for them as both offenses like to get out. And, and as I was saying, you know, Buhat Colony, despite the fact that they're a run team, they kind of like to push a tempo and, and like to utilize somewhat of a hurry up and fold some go they go no huddle the entire game and really put pressure on the opposing defenses. Buhat Colony won the toss and they elected to receive. I think that's a good idea. Maybe, it, it, I mean, even at 10 and 2, Joey, if they get the win here, it's an upset, not a monumental upset, but an upset nonetheless. They're, yeah, they're smarting from the 2010 loss and really wanted, looking for some type of payback here. There's a short kick fielded at the 27 yard line. Decent run out to the 40, 13 yards on the return. And that was Justin Stefani, the, just a sophomore. Let me give you your officials and umpires here tonight. Our referee is Joe Lowe. Our head linesman is Desmond Rucker. Our line judge is Mark Nichols. Our umpire is Ray Pooley. And our other line judge is Dave Guerrero. Buhack Colony, the visiting team out of Atwater in the black pants with the white jerseys and the black helmets. Folsom in their all blue uniforms with the white numbers and the blue helmets. Run to the outside give to the left side for about three. First of a two-game double dip here on playonsports.com. Dell Oro and Elk Grove, another game we're broadcasting. So the winner of this game will play the winner of that game next week at Sac State. Date and time to be determined. Yeah, it'll be either Friday night or a Saturday night game for sure. But that'll be for all the marbles there. Marquez under center. Send a man in motion. Play action. Marquez has it. Time. Throws across his shoulder. Complete in the Bulldog territory to the 42. A pickup of 15. Yeah, Felix Burrell out there on the reception there, Ben. And you know what? I got to say, I like the play call there on the second and seven call. You know, running out of the fly sweep. I know Folsom's kind of looking, you know, the, that well, Buhack is probably going to, Buhack Colony is probably going to just establish her run, establish themselves. But uh, going unpredictable, a little unpredictable there for Marquez to go ahead and roll out to, on play action, looking for the pass. So Mar good call there. Yeah, absolutely. Marquez number on the year, 42 of 75, 936 yards. 12 touchdowns versus just one interception and a QB rating of 135. So he does a good job of managing the game, Joey. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. So running back to the left side, hugging that sideline. Good pickup of about five. It's going to be interesting to see the dynamic between the two quarterbacks. Not only uh, is Jake Browning a, you know, arm-slinging quarterback, but he really gets a lot of protection from his pocket, you know, from his line and sit, can sit there in the pocket and pick apart a defense. So, uh, but where Joe Marquez, very, very mobile, and he kept two plays alive last week uh, just with his legs alone. You see the difference in style, Joey. 488 attempts for Browning. Here's a run up the right guard. Good enough, close to a first down. Difference in styles. Browning, 488 attempts on the year. Marquez, 75. Yeah. That's almost 400 more, <laughs> almost 400 more attempts. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Well, Jake Browning, and more on Jake Browning when we get to see him offensively, but Jake Browning just sits back there as a quarterback. has been working with co-coach Troy Taylor since he was a fifth grader. So uh, obviously he has a lot of experience back there in the pocket. Two tight end set here for Marquez. Looking left the whole way, has his man out in the flat. Hugs the left sideline, still on his feet, has a first down. A Buhack, impressive opening drive here early on, Joey. See oh. if they can capitalize and put it in the end zone. And that's what Coach Swarward wants to do. The idea here is to keep Browning on the sideline so that the offense does not have an opportunity uh, to get out on the ground. So a uh, good, uh, good run here early on for Buhack Colony in their offense. Just underway, 10.25 left to go in the first. Buhack, this drive started at their 40. They're at the... Bulldogs 20 here opening drive. First and 10, power eye formation for the Thunder. Run right up the gut. And the center does a nice job of moving that line. And a lot of that, Joey, when we mentioned we talked about him last week. Yeah, Stephon Gold. Well, the big uh, offensive oh, yeah. lineman. Oh, Aaron Cochran. Yeah, it was Cochran. Aaron Cochran. They had uh, him. Uh, he looks like he's wearing 75 tonight. They have him listed at 74. Number 68, 350. Yeah, they changed his number last week. I remember okay, seeing that. Okay, so he that. is yeah. 75. Yeah, I didn't get that on the uh, on the latest roster, but he is 75. But <laughs> it's hard to not <laughs> too hard, hard to, to not right. too hard to signal him out. Right, he's a he's a hell of a player. 
as they send Edwards in motion. Run up the left side again. So most runs going to that left side, and they yeah, very comfortable with the left side of that offensive line. I don't think they've run it run it one time to the right. When you have a player the size of Cochran there who stands 6'8", 350, uh, he can op barrel, bug, plug open, I'm sorry, just blow up with some holes there uh, for Stephon Gold. If you look at him right now, he's sitting there in the left tackle position. Short set up the screen. It's incomplete. They tried to get to go to Shane Bell. And Folsom bringing pressure that time, bringing the blitz. And Joe Marquez just stand with the quick screen, trying to get it off there to Bell. Probably took a hit there. It looked to me that Philip Carter was a safety just coming right up the middle and got pressure there on Marquez, affected Marquez's throw. How about this? They're going to go for the 35-yard field goal, it looks like. Marquez to quarterback to hold. Shane Bell now. It's pretty long for high school. And low snap. Marquez does a nice job of getting it up. Wow, plenty of distance. Oh, and it's good. And that was good by 15 yards. So Buhack Colony connects on the Shane Bell 35-yard field goal. No doubt about that one. Plenty of leg. And right up the middle, they take an early 3 to nothing lead here on the Sack Joaquin High School football game of the week. Folks, do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Well, tell your school to sign up for the Play on, school, Play on Sports school broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SVP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. So here, Ben, it's going to be interesting to see what Buhack's Colony's defense can do here to affect Jake Browning. Jake Browning and the offense were able to go, were able to score on their first five possessions last week against Vacaville uh, with Browning scoring five touchdowns on those first five possessions. When it's key to, I mean, Swartwood's going to take the three points, but you can't trade field goals for touchdowns with this Folsom team. Got to find a way to get into the end zone. They'll take the points, but they're going to have to get some stops from their defense and win the turnover battle, I think, is key for them tonight if they want to get the semi-upset and go on to the section title game, play the winner of the Del Oro Elk Grove game next week. Yeah, no, no mistake about it. It will be uh, some sort of an upset. But uh, and we saw last week against Antelope how Buhat Colony was able to pick up uh, some extra points, 14 points, as a matter of fact, on a couple of Antelope turnovers, and that really turned the, the game. Nine times out of ten, the team that wins the turnover battle is going to win here as we get into the playoffs. The teams are just too talented to overcome big mistakes. So here's the man of the hour. Browning out of the gun. Good protection. Throws across the middle. And there's it's on the ground. But it looked like maybe even Browning. No, it was one of the offensive linemen who jumped on it. Yeah, Josh Warmly, one of the uh, uh, tackle there for well, probably gives a lot of the protection there for Jake Browning doing, being smart of just jumping on it. But uh, that's smart there for Buhat Colony. If they can get it, take advantage of some of these turnovers, it's going to be, it could be huge. Running out of the gun, rolls to his left. Throws, has his man, it's caught. First down, pass complete to Troy Knox. And Knox has some good numbers on the year, Joe, he is receiving. Yeah, he is the... Uh, 85 receptions for 1,020 yards, 12 a catch, 92 a game. Has 12 touchdowns on the air. So he is Browning's number one target. Not they say he's their only one. Him and uh, Lucas, DeGuerra. Yeah. Lucas Owen Jr. leading he, reception and receiving yards. Run up the left side. Not do, not much doing there. Yeah, absolutely. So it's Owen and Knox are his two main targets. But he's thrown to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different receivers on the year. Yeah. Well, Ben, I mean, four of the uh, top five receivers of the Delta River River League are on Folsom, are you know, with the Folsom Bulldogs. So. <laughs> four of the top five. <laughs> wow. Not surprised though. 
No. They just rushed three here. Nice Ooh. throw on the slant. A big hit. But they're going to say incomplete. Wow. That can be huge there. It looked to me that uh, the pass was almost uh, they were going there to Lucas Owen. And if Lucas Owen, Lucas Owen coming up hobbling there a little bit there, Ben. But Lucas Owen, as we were just mentioning him, uh, receiving not only over 1,000 yards receiving, but 10 touchdowns on the year as well. Third and nine now after the incomplete pass on the slant. Opening possession for Folsom. They trail three to nothing, 12 and 0 on the year. Led by Chris Richardson out of the Delta River League. Ranked 25th in the state. Empty backfield. Spread formation, two receivers each side. Tons of time. What can Browning do? Still in the pocket. Gets back out of the pocket. Now into the pocket. Throws it incomplete. Good coverage downfield. Stephen Strasser. Well, that was really great play there by only, with only rushing. I only saw two there going, and, and it looked like Folsom really giving Browning good, good protection. But something that we don't always see an awful lot there, Ben, is Browning scrambling around in, there in the in the back. How about in the this pocket. for rolling the dice early? On your own 36, fourth and nine, Richardson is going to go for it. Three receivers to the right, and I think a false start. Yeah, I can't say I'm surprised here, Ben. I mean, Coach. A little bit, only because it's 36 and you're, it's the opening drive of the game. Right, but Coach Tr Taylor's tendency likes to really kind of just go for it uh, in these types of situations. Really is going to tr try to pull a trigger, force the defense to do something, and, you know, try to stop, force defense to try to stop him. He has enough confidence in his defense to slow down the other team's offense. Our first penalty of the game is offsides on Buhat Colony, so. Fourth and four, a little bit. I wonder if they go with the same play call or it looks like the same formation. Trips make that quads right. Tons of time. Across the middle, incomplete. So they get the big stop. They try to go to Knox, but Jace Webster says, not in my house. And a big stop there, Joey. And look at the field position that they're going to get. Yeah, absolutely. A great, great opening possession defensively there for Buhat Colony. Buhat Colony came in, uh, came in defensively, you know, with uh, a number, they've got a number and I had it over here, uh, coming on, capitalizing on turnovers, 12 interceptions on the year and a number of sacks on the year, I believe 22 and a half sacks. So really know how to put pressure and really know how to cover downfield. And we saw that last week against Antelope and a good job here on their opening defensive what, possession. What I was pressed about the Antelope game is they really tightened the screws there in the second half. Run up the gut, first down and more. Stiff arm all the way down to the 21. A pick up a 20, and Buhat Colony's rocking and rolling. That time they go to the fullback, Mr. Gonzalez, and that's uh, Stefan Gold, the senior. Yeah, Stefan Gold, uh, really doing a good job, a marvelous job, just running up the middle, getting those holes there. And we saw him come up big last week against Antelope, so we know what uh, Stephon Gold can do. When they have they have a lot of success running that fly sweep, so they run the, when they run it in the play action, just like here, it, it gets Folsom uh, linebackers thinking on their toes, still going close to another first down. You know, it's this a, gives them something else to think right. about when they run those motions. Oh, absolutely! It, you, you're looking at three guys, you're three, you know, potential of three different runners. Where's the ball going? And I got to give Joe Marquez credit. Joe Marquez, who came up, he was the MVP of the Central California uh, Conference uh, last week, named uh, MVP of the Central California Conference. And, and Marquez does a good job of just misleading his misdirection on the dives and hard to pick up the ball. Pitch back to Miles, trying to get around the corner. That's going to be a block in the back. It looked like one. No call, no flag. But Miles going to lose a couple yards there. Still comfortable going to that left side. They want to run behind their man as much as they can behind Cochran. Yeah, Aaron Cochran, obviously, that's uh, he's your, the anchor of the offensive line. And when you need some yardage, you need somewhere to go. Look at uh, Look going left to Aaron Cochran. So second and 14 from the 15. They can still get a first at the one. Fake the sweep, go back inside, and nothing much to do, and maybe back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and about 12 here. 6-10 to go. Buhat Colony on top of Folsom, 3 to nothing. Nathan Schemmel is our in-game producer, and Emmanuel Chin, our videographer here tonight. Alongside Joey Gonzalez, I'm Ben Schneider. Happy to have you with us here for the D2 semifinal game. 
Winner will play the winner of Del Oro Elk Grove next week. Okay. We're under six minutes to go here in the first. Okay, we've got a score right now in the Elk Grove Del Oro game. Elk Grove already leading 7 0 with 6 11 to go in the first quarter. Gold in the backfield. Marquez gets out of pressure, throws, has a man open. Can he make the grab? Incomplete. And he was wide open, Joey. He tried to go to Morrow, the tight end. Very, very close. And that's one of the keys that you see there with Joe Marquez. Able to scramble away, able to keep a, a, dry, a, a play going. And that's what you like in a quarterback, a, 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 you know, a, a quarterback that can scramble around and, and find, a, you know, find some space and get some space out to, to be able to complete a play. So Marquez to hold for Bell. Bell one for one. He hit a 35-yarder. This one from 30. Good snap, good hold. Plenty of distance and good. This one, he hit the, <laughs> he hit the 35-yarder with the more authority than he hit the 30, but either way, it splits the upright. And Buhawk Colony, two trips to the red zone, two field goals. They lead six to nothing with 532 left to go in the first here on the Sac Joaquin High School Football Game of the Week. Folks, playonsports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. Playonsports.com, high school sports lives here. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. So now the MVP so far, Bell, to kick off. Taken at the five. Ooh, another big hit out to the 20. A return at just 15. And I got to give credit here, Ben. I mean, Buhack Colony is really <laughs> laying the lumber here to Folsom. You know, we've covered a few Folsom games, but I haven't seen Folsom get hit. Well, they're as they're getting hit. Team. Yeah, as, uh, as they're getting here tonight. So, Folsom, as Joey mentioned last week, scored on their first five possessions. They got only got one first down on that opening drive. Had a crack at it at fourth and four, and the pass was incomplete to Knox. So we'll see what Browning and company can do here with 5.26 to go, moving right to left on your screen. Empty backfield, two receivers to the right, two to the left. We'll send DeGuerra in motion. Here's a lobbed on the right sideline, and it's incomplete. Yeah, that time... That, Trying to go to Owen. Yeah, that time Lucas Owen, and good to see that he's back out there running, but that time Lucas Owen just beat the pressure, put the press right off the line. It was just a you know, it was just a straight right up a go route, just right up the sideline. And if Browning just had a little bit more touch on that, uh, you could have gone all the way for six there. You had Colony breathing a little bit of sigh of relief. Quad to the left. Two guys in the slot. Roll to his right. Oh, what a pretty pass. In complete for another first down. And they go to Knox. Yeah, and on that on that out route, Knox just doing what he needs to do, just gets beyond the yardage marker, the first down marker, and they're going to go to him all the time. In fact, you know, that's usually the, the where he's finding uh, Troy Knox is just on those little out patterns uh, in, in the flat. And, uh, 86th reception of the year for Knox puts him over 1,030 yards. Empty backfield, looking left. Going back to the left side, incomplete. Good coverage downfield. They try to go to Owen. And Leon Miles, as well as the safety, Tyler Drew, coming over for help. And uh, great coverage there. Yeah, uh, Marquez also went into the play. Marquez, he uh, do everything there. Quarterback for, uh, for Buhat Colony coming in with coverage over top to make sure that uh, that pass wasn't complete. Empty again, trips right as they'll send DeGuerra to reverse. And coming back the other way is Ellison, has blockers in front of him, gets another big block across midfield, picks up 12 yards on the play. 
good looking play there, well designed. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Just keeping Buhat Colony on their toes and great run, job of running there by Rodney Ellison to pick up the first down. As we approach the five minute mark, first trip into Thunder territory, just to the 49, Browning out of the gun, trips left. To zone read, inside give, and a nice run. Close to a first down, I think he had it. And it's Lalagi. Yeah, Leo Lagi just following his blockers, being patient, and that's what you do there with the, uh, with the zone blocking scheme is you just be patient, read your blockers, and be able to find your hole. And Leo Lagi, just a sophomore, 81st rush of the year. That puts him over 600 yards, about 601. He averages 49 a game, has 10 touchdowns, just under eight yards per carry. That's all for the sophomore. Folsom in action here. They trail 6 0 as we approach the four minute mark. It's going to be another double reverse pass. But but well disciplined by Buhat Colony. Now scrambling, flag down. Another big hit at the end of that play. So that it was Josiah DeGuerra, after everything was said and done, did a nice job of making something out of nothing. But good job for Buhat Colony not biting on the double reverse pass. Right, right. Very disciplined play, play there defensively. Uh, couldn't get to pressure on there, on to on DeGuara there and forcing DeGuara to run with it. Uh, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. I did not see the time when the flag came in here, Ben, so I'm not well, sure if it's going to be field. Yeah, pass interference or a late hold. I think it's going to be a defensive hold. Usually that's the spot where it comes in. There you go. I got your money for you here. <laughs> you, uh, you cover right, but you're right. No, yeah. but you do. You cover enough games. You see where the where the where the marker comes in. Right. And that that's. I mean, nine times out of ten, you're going to know what what it is just by where it comes in on the field. Right. So Folsom rocking and rolling here now into the red zone for the first time, as they send Leologi in motion. They give it to him, and wow, he cuts up field with an extra burst of speed. Good for a first down inside the ten. Yeah, Leo Loggi just deciding to go ahead and take it down, you know, just lowering his shoulder, lowering his head, and running over the defender there to try to pick up that extra yardage. Under four to go. So the chain game can take a break. It's first and goal from the nine. Browning out of the gun, and he's got Leo Loggi in the backfield with him. With him. Buhak showing blitz, and it's going to be a false start, or maybe offsides. One or the other. We'll see who jumped first. They're walking back, so it looks like a false start. Yeah, they marked him back already, so a false start on Folsom. Folsom trying to go for the quick snap there, uh, Ben, to keep uh, Buhat Colony off balance there defensively. And usually when you try to go for the quick snap, you don't have all your linemen set. Absolutely, definitely, 100% in four down territory for Richardson and the Bulldogs. Here's Browning, empty backfield. Wants to set up the screen to the right. Good block, he's gonna go, uh, one man to beat, touchdown Bulldogs! Lealogi on the 14 yard screen pass from Browning. And it's Browning's 56th touchdown pass of the year. And for Lealogi, his third touchdown of the year, Joey. Well-designed screen there, sophomore to sophomore. We're going to see a lot of that combo here in the next couple years. Well, it's uh, Folsom's bread and butter, the bubble screen there to the athlete Leo Loggi. Sometimes you see Philip Carter out there. Uh, they just take the pass, you know, just in, send the two linemen out there to block and get some protection out in front of them, and the rest of the way it's uh, Leo Loggi. Browning to hold for Ben Trum. Whistle. False start, so back him up five, or legal procedure, sorry. Folsom was a state, won the state championship in 2010, Joey. Yeah, it was a fun team to watch, and Folsom trying to replicate. Snaps down, kicks down, it's oh, it clears the Bulldog down there in the north end zone. And Folsom takes the lead for the first time today, 7-6. to six. And as I mentioned, Joey, 
trips to the red zone, you got to punch it in for six. Can't settle for three against this high-powered offense. Yeah, absolutely. Take absolutely. a break in the action. 3.05 left to go in the first. Folsom on top, 7-6 to six, here on the high school football game of the week. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on, schools, Play on Sports school broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination from for high school sports, playonsports.com. And while we got a break in the action here, Ben, want to let everybody know that uh, El Grove is leading Del Oro right now, 14 to nothing, 320 to go in the for first quarter still. Covered an El Grove game earlier in the year. They're a, a senior-laden team, and they got a lot of talent on that team. Del Oro, kind of a team that nobody really talked about this year, and they – they're where they usually are, is in the semifinals of the section title game. Fair catch called for to 33. Good heads up play there made by Morrow, the senior. Yeah, Morrow, and that's what Folsom likes to do is so what the, you know, they're not going to go uh, onside, but they want to put pressure, uh, added pressure on the up back there to try to, you know, get them in a situation that they're not used to, uh, see if they can make the, the, you know, the smart play there and perhaps maybe if the kick team. Uh, knock the ball away and get a turnover. So Marquez under center, a couple good drives. They stalled deep in the Bulldog territory. We'll see what they do here as they send Bell in motion. It's a run up the right up the gut and into Bulldog territory all the way out to the 51, a run of 18 yards by Golds. Well, one of the things he did say here coming into the ball game, uh, Ben, is that uh, we may see a high powered as high scoring affair and it's kind of headed that way as both teams are pretty much just moving the ball uh, at will against each other's offense I mean against each other's uh, defense Gold's a good looking back a senior 134 carries coming in 1,074 yards with a couple runs today so he's over 1,100 yards on the year 19 touchdowns averages 90 yards per game and 8 yards per carry uh, so Gold probably getting some offers to play on Saturdays next year. Sounds like it's going to be a fall start yeah. here against uh, Folsom. I'm not Folsom, I'm sorry, but uh, Buhat Colony. A delay of game. So the pack of back five yards to the 45. First and 15, 230 left to go in the first. Folsom on top, seven to six. They got a 14-yard touchdown pass from Browning to Leologi, and for Buhat Colony, a couple of field goals off the foot of Shane Bell, 35 and 30. Split back formations now for the Thunder. Edwards in motion. Up the gut, not much. Yeah, Edwards are... Uh, Go to gold. Was it gold? Yeah, it was gold. Uh, just not able to get the extra push there. Gold usually the one running up the middle, and he has had some big openings, you know, a couple of times here tonight, but uh, Folsom doing a good job just plugging up the hole that time. Second and 11 now as we approach the two-minute mark here of the first quarter. Happy Thanksgiving. All of our listeners out there, hopefully you had tons of turkey. I know Joey did. I know I did. A couple of re two receivers to the right now for Marquez. Gold in the backfield as they'll send Webster in motion. They give it to Webster on the sweep. Webster trying to turn the corner, nothing doing. Maybe two yards, going to be third and nine. Folsom defense really picking up here. Not uh, they're, they're starting to get uh, pick up the misdirection here of the fly sweep and, and re doing a lot better job of, of reading where the ball's going. So uh, getting good jumps to jump here defensively. And <laughs> look as they put the sh to the long side of the field now, they move Cochran over to the right side of the line. Play action, deep pass, pockets, Marquez scrambles out of it, cuts back in field, and he's tackled down. Good containment there by the Bulldogs. So decision time now coming up for Coach Swartwood. Yeah, it looked like uh, Chaz Arnold there. 
for the Bulldogs doing a good job there of not allowing Marquez to get out into the open field as where Marquez was, and that's where Marquez had really hurt Antelope last week, uh, but Folsom doing a good job there of containing containment there on Marquez. Cesar Sotelo set to kick. And Ellison set to return. He's at his own 15. A minute left to go in the opening quarter. Low kick. Ellison receives it. Plenty of room to run. Goes to his left, gets a block, wants to cut outside and out of bounds and a little extracurricular. Yeah, I have some extracurricular there, but uh, I'm surprised that the linesman is standing right there and cannot see Ellison grabbing the face mask there of the, you know, grabbing the face mask there of the, I think it was, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember who the defender was on that play, but I don't see the, the linesman had seen the, uh, the face mask there. And, uh, Tyler Dew. Tyler Dew, Tyler Dew, who played well last week against Antelope. Yeah, he we, did. You know, we, we were calling his name an awful lot, but uh, Tyler Dew getting the, the face mess there. And, you know, sometimes if that's that called right away, you know, that's that's well, what can lead to the extracurricular activity there, Ben. And the big play, though, because if you were to attack on 15, it's a big difference between starting at the 45 and at the 30. Here's a toss back. Uh, pretty good yards on first. It goes to Lipnowski. They got so many weapons. I mean, you don't even haven't even mentioned Lipnowski yet here tonight, but he's got good numbers on the year as well. I mean, 117 carries, 678 yards, six touchdowns. They go back to him. So Lipnowski, a couple carries, and he picks up the first down. Yeah, just had Lipnowski there on the sweep, you know, running behind. The big tackle, I'm sorry, behind the big tackle, Dalton Bledsoe. And yeah, Bledsoe just plowing down some linemen, defensive linemen there on Buhat Colony. Bledsoe's six foot 295. A little play action, fade route, left sideline. And had he not stumbled down, he would have walked in for six. Lucas Olin, one of Browning's favorite targets. Joe Marquez doing a big mistake there coming up there. And I don't know if I, I you know, I had lost set sight there of Browning, but I don't know if Browning had pumped Marquez off, but Marquez trying to come up and then lost footing and had to recover and had Lucas Owen not tripped over his own two feet. Uh, that was the only thing that saved Folsom's touchdown. Good concentration to hauling that one in too. End of the first quarter, Folsom on the move. They lead seven to six right here in the Sac Joaquin High School football game of the week. Folks, do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on School Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Playonsports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. PlayOnSports.com. High school sports lives here. And so with 2.17 to go here, looking over at the Elk Grove and Del Oro game, uh, 2.17 to go here in the first quarter. Elk Grove still leading Del Oro 14 to nothing. And Folsom on the move here as Owen on the big 35-yard pass catch from Browning. And for Owen, second catch today. 63rd of the year. Unbelievable how many weapons this Bulldog team has. Buhat Colony, though, playing well. Yeah, this uh, they're going to have to hold here, Ben, and it's danger territory here for Folsom. Empty backfield as Lipnowski goes in motion. Uh, they try to go back to him. Now a throw across the middle, and it's off the hands. Of DeGuerra, I think he had that one, Joe. That was yeah. a good pass there by Browning. Yeah, he had beat the, beaten the coverage there, covered by Jonathan Morrow, and Browning having all sorts of time there to pick off uh, DeGuerra, uh, but uh, DeGuerra unable to come up with that one, so bring up a second and ten. A 
good tempo here for Folsom as as always, Joey. They in and out, get their play called from Coach Richardson. No huddle. Yeah, they're they ninety eight percent of the time. Yeah, they're a rhythm team and play with rhythm. Lipnoski in the backfield. Fuhat gonna run, just rush three. Good protection as Browning throws right. Has his man wide open. Touchdown, Troy Knox. How about the protection up front? Yeah, uh, again, it just does a, this Folsom line does a great job, does not give a lot of sacks. And ever since that uh, early on in the first quarter, when Browning was getting pressured, this Folsom line has really dug in there and really holds held strong. Uh, so a big touchdown catch there for Knox. And also, I mean, you're looking at Dominic Ogwin had slipped there on the coverage and had left Knox all by himself. Browning's second TD throw of the evening is 57th of the year for Knox, his fourth reception already here tonight and his team leading 13th touchdown pass. Extra point is up and good. So 14 to six, and Joey, as I mentioned, you can't trade touchdowns for field goals here with Folsom, and Buhat Colony paying the price here early on. Tons of time to go, 11.52 before half. Folsom 14, Buhat Colony six here on the Sac Joaquin High School Football Game of the Week. Do you wanna watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all the games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. And Ben, yeah, it's just, you can feel it. Uh, this is usually about the time where a Fol Folsom starts to pull away there from, uh, uh, you know, from their opponent. Uh, once they got a feel for each other, um, so Buhek's really going to have to do something uh, to maintain uh, momentum or you know just to stay in the game. No, I agree. This is a big possession coming up for them. Fair caught at the thirty-five. Like Cody McWilliams, that's another guy they'd like to get going. Cody McWilliams, one of their playmakers on offense, has yet to have a catch here tonight. 11.51 left to go in the second. Folsom on top, 14 to six. We'll be at Sac State next week for the section title games. Times and dates to be determined. Yeah, it'll be championship weekend there at Sac State. A lot of championship games. The top four divisions. Always a lot of fun. Short drop, pass incomplete, as they, they heard me on the broadcast. They've <laughs> got to get McWilliams involved until they go to it, but it's incomplete. Second and 10 now from their own 35. Yeah, Marquez going to have to get accurate there on that uh, with those throws. And don't get away from the... Don't get away from yeah, you're, so it's, the ground game. Yeah, that's, right, yeah. I mean, I'd like to mix it up on first as well because you don't want to be too predictable, but that's their bread and butter. And they got a good offensive line. Split backs now. Two tight end sets as they'll send Sims and McWilliams to the left. They run it up the gut eh, for a couple. Yeah, Miles there just take, going off tackle. And it looked to be Bailey Leologi just coming up there from the linebacker spot finding him in the backfield. A good read there by Leo Loggi to come up there on Miles and just put the shoulder on him. That's the thing about Folsom. A lot of their playmakers on offense play both sides of the ball. Under center goes Marquez. Third and seven. Webster close to a first, but no, he's going to be short by a yard and a half. And what do you do here if you're Swartwood? Yeah, Eddie Flores probably saving the first down there uh, as Flores tripped him up. And they're going to hurry to the line here, try to get Folsom off guard maybe. Big play here, fourth and one at the 44. Crowd getting into it. Well, that looks. They're trying to get him to jump. Yeah. No, they, they might not. Yeah, they might. 
That's what they're going to do. Good call, Joey. So they're forced to take a timeout instead of go back five. 10.37 left to go before half. Folsom 14, Buhack Colony 6. PlayOnSports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school's playoff and championship events in all sports across the country. PlayOnSports.com, high school sports lives here. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports school broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. So coming out of the timeout here, Ben, uh, Coach Swartwood deciding that uh, their best option is to get out there and, and try to slow this uh, full some offense down. I mean, yeah. even though it's fourth and one, it's still too early to take chances deep in your own zone. They showed that they can stop Folsom on that opening drive. Yeah, one thing you don't want to do is give this. Uh, oh, they're gonna fake it. A big mistake. Unless Mark, no, that's huge. They drove for the sneak, and I, I like that call sometimes, but after a timeout, I don't like it. Right. Because yeah. then, what are they saying in the timeout on Folsom side? Right. Watch, watch for the fake. Watch the fake. Yeah. <laughs> watch the fake. I don't mind the call. I just didn't like when they did it. Right. Well, the other thing too there is, is I saw you, you know, you, you uh, snap it to your up man there, Marquez, and now Marquez limping off the field there. That's not a good sign there for Buhat Colony uh, as he's hobbling off the far sideline. But Marquez running into his own man on the back there, a, the uh, the kicker Tony Padilla. Uh, Tony Padilla pretty much knocked Marquez down. And had Marquez had room to run, he we've seen his scramble ability. Yeah. You know, he has an opportunity to, to make something out of nothing and could have converted that first down, but not when you're running into your own player. Keep an eye on Marquez, the backup. Darren DuPont only has two attempts on the year. How about this throw down the right sideline, inside the five, down to the one. Just like that, a 33-yard pass and catch from Browning to Lucas Owen. Unbelievable. And that's... After the turnover, Folsom likes to do that a lot, Joey. They'll go for the home run right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, you put pressure on there against your opponent. And it's a zone read. Good for a one-yard touchdown scamper. Touchdown Bulldogs. Leo Loggi is second here tonight. One rushing, one receiving. And the Bulldog offense is firing on all cylinders. They're three for four. They've scored their last three possessions. It's 20 to 6 here with 10 19 to go. And if you're Buhack Colony, got to be careful here. Snaps down, holds good. Kick is plenty good. 21 to 6. Folsom on top. Here on the Sac Joaquin High School Football Game of the Week with 10-19 left to go before half. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up, up, keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. And Ben, you're in danger territory here. Uh, danger territory here for Buhat Colony. Folsom has scored on their last three possessions, and they've scored 21 unanswered points here against, uh, against the Thunder. In the meantime, I want to give you a score here between El Grove and Del Oro. El Grove has scored on a touchdown, so uh, they've cut the lead in half. El Grove, st El Grove still leading, though, 14-7 to with 7.54 to go in the second quarter. Trying to kick. It's going to be returned this time. Oh, they a little trickery. Throw back with blockers in front. Into Bulldog territory down to the 38. How about that play, Joey? Well designed. <laughs> Why not? And that's right there for the taking, too, with the short kick. They made sure that they didn't throw it 
forwards. Well, they overload this side, the near side of the field there with their kick unit, trying to, like I said, they're always looking for a turnover, and that's what Coach Taylor is always looking for, opportunities there for his offense. And so big heads-up play. Nice to see the heady play there by Buhat Colony. So yeah. it's going to be interesting to see here who comes in at quarterback, and they got a oh. substitution, Do Darren DuPont. Yeah, there. one of two on the year is all. So they're going to run. You can see a lot of run. They're going to go to gold. But I like the call on the special teams, especially since the last time they were out on offense, they tried the the punt field goal. Right. Or the punt. Uh, the, the fake punt. The, the yeah. fake punt. <laughs> thank you. And they didn't get it. So what do they do the next time they get a chance on special teams is run a another trickery. So... Well, sometimes that's what you have to do, and it uh, and now here it's going to be interesting, and, and, you know, to see how Dupont handles this offense, and, and as you say, just two attempts there on the season. Is that correct? So uh, Edwards in motion. He'll give it to him. Trying to. Oh, how about that open field tackle? Wow. Uh, it might be a face mask there, Ben. I saw a late flag come in. Um, Whitney had made a hell of a stop, but we can't see from our vantage right. point if he did. It looked like maybe a heart, uh, horse collar. Horse collar, perhaps. But uh, he did come up on the side, though. Didn't look like he grabbed it from the from grabbed him from the bag. But it is the the unsportsmanlike penalty there, as you can see there. Quickly run off the 15 yard. Yeah, and it is a horse collar. Well, with your starting quarterback out of the game, trailing 21 to six, you'll take it any way you can. So, second and no, it's gonna be first and ten now from the twenty-three. Yeah, my guess is Marquez is uh, at least gonna be done for the half time for to leave for the half, if not uh, for the rest of the game. There, as I see him sitting on the bench. Webster in motion, inside give, nothing doing, by a slew of Bulldogs led by Derek Styles, the senior. And not a lot of seniors really on this roster. That's yeah. what's scary about Folsom. Second and ten now. No, eight fifty to go in before half. Bulldogs on top, twenty-one to six here on the Play on Sports Network. Sac Joaquin High School football game of the week, alongside Joey Gonzalez. I'm Ben Schneider. Happy Black Friday! Thanks for tuning in. Split back formation now for Dupont, the backup quarterback. They go to Gold. Gold. Nice rush there, about eight yards. Yeah, Gold, their workhorse, uh, their money man. And if you need a big play, you're going to go to Stephon Gold. And, you know, pretty much it's going to be up to the running game now. Stephon Gold and Leon Miles, uh, you know, making big plays with their legs without Marquez in there. You know, there's a tough, uh, there's a bit heavy load there on Darren DuPont. And, and pretty much now what you're asking here from DuPont is, is to not to make a mistake and, and just manage the offense. Another split back. Keep it conservative here. Gold stays on his feet. Good run there by Gold. A late penalty marker comes in. Maybe in, uh, a late hit. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of because there was yeah. three Bulldogs and, and just Gold, the ball carrier. Yeah, they didn't see anything unless there was a... Uh, but illegal block, a block in the back against Buhat Colony. But I didn't see anything that could be potentially be called against Buhat Colony. Uh, but that's what they're doing. That's it a is, hold, yeah. yeah. That's unfortunate because that was a hell of a run by Gold. Looked like he was going to be stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. He kept his legs moving, made a nice stiff arm, and had the first down. So that's unfortunate yeah. for the Thunder. Yeah, it marches him back, brings up third and nine now. From the 22, 7.49 left to go before half here at Prairie City Stadium. A great venue for high school football for sure. We've done a lot of games out here and every time we've had a good experience. Split back now. Two tight end set. Edwards in motion. Give it to Miles. And Miles is pretty close. Early indications are that he's going to be short. Well, trailing by 15. Even though Bell's got the leg, as I right. mentioned, you can't trade field goals for touchdowns with Folsom. Def yeah, you can't. It, it is a it's a tough situation here because you almost got to go for it. But uh, you know, my thinking is sometimes is do you want to, you know, just give away points? But uh, it looks like Coach Swartwood had his decision made all the way. So Dupont quickly up to the line. They pitch it back. Oh, and he fumbles it. Miles couldn't handle it. That's unfortunate. 
looked like he had a little bit of room to run, Joey. Yeah, it, uh, I, you know, he had a little bit of room to run. Still, the pitch was back far enough, though. I think uh, it, it looked like Folsom was collapsing in on him, but would have had to li would have liked to have had a, at least a chance, so a shot at trying to make something there. Uh, never had it, to, and again, you know, turnovers. Although it's not a turnover, there uh, just an unfortunate situation there for Buhat Colony, and not even getting a chance there for the Thunder. And that's the ex inexperience of DuPont. You're right about that, Joey, because I think Marquez makes that pitch. How about this run on first down? Harry Lipnowski, the junior, pick up of about 18 yards. Yeah, Lipnowski there. The workhorse there coming from the back, it pretty much Jake Browning's safety net when uh, they need that big run, you go into Lipnowski. Same exact play. Lebnowski finds a seam, cuts back inside, spins very close to a first down. I think he's got another one. Yeah, this time going to Leo Loggi. Leo Loggi just going off tackle there, just on the sw on the sweep, uh, just following the tackle, reading his blockers up ahead. Yeah, second and one. Folsom likes to go for the deep ball here. Trips left. Looking right. They are going for the home run. Incomplete. But you still Look. got two downs to get one yard, so that's why they go deep there on second yeah. and one. Pass was not clawed, and it's lucky that Tabu had Colony to not get whistled there for the foul. Jace Webster not turning around. And one thing, and I, you know, you learn this at an early age, you have to make contact there with the ball, you know, before you make contact with the receiver. If you're going to go go with the receiver. You have to look back, at least uh, eye the ball and play the ball. Third and one, so they'll go to Lipnowski. He's got a first down and a whole lot more. Down to the 39. Good bit of running there for Harry Lipnowski getting into the defensive backfield. It's 15 yards on third and one. Folsom's rocking and rolling. Under six to go, 559, 21 to six. Bulldogs on top here at home and in command. Looking for another section title. They're second in three years. Lipnowski shifts from right to left behind Browning. Here comes the heat. They go back to Lipnowski and it's picked up. But Buhat Colony had the right play called there, Joey. It's Justin Stephanie yeah. with the stop. Yeah, Justin Stephanie going high. Ray Rodriguez coming low and doing a good job reading there and being disciplined. Uh, staying on there, you know, shooting the gap there and, and just coming up and plugging up those holes. Empty. Second and 10 as we approach the five minute mark. Play action, good protection, throws to the right side, incomplete. A little bit in front of Philip Carter, the senior. First time they targeted Carter here today. So third and 10, Buhawk a couple stops away from feeling pretty good about themselves, showing by just 15, but. Yeah, Philip Carter was a big target there in the, uh, pretty much when Jake Browning stepped onto the scene here in the Sacqua King section, the big opening win against Wood Creek. Uh, 10 touchdown passes, went to, I believe six of those went to Philip Carter. Screen, screen. oh, what a grab. And a first down. Leo Loggi looked like they had him tied up, but he made a great catch. A one-handed one grab. Yeah, great grab there by Leo Loggi. And big credit there goes to Cody Creason for you know, getting him out in the open. As you said, it looked like someone had a hand on him, but Cody Creason laying the block there to free Leo Loggi. Trips right. Under five to go. 21-6, Folsom on top. Now empty backfield as Lipnowski goes up for extra protection. Rolls right. Tons of time. Throws. Caught. Down to the 10. A pickup of 19 to Troy Knox. Too much protection. Too much time, Joey. A lot of time. Browning's going to pick you apart. Yeah, a lot of time, and that's what this uh, defense, uh, this offensive line does for, for Jake Browning. Gives them a lot of time. They're very mobile, too. If you see, they do a good job of just moving the pocket and finding knowing where Browning's going to be going 
Uh, any other thing, you know, give credit to Knox for being able to get open. Lemnoski is going to go in for the touchdown. A 10-yard scamper for Harry Lemnoski. 27 unanswered for Folsom. For Lipnoski. Second today, right? That is his first. Uh, first today, but his seventh of the year. He's over 700 yards on the ground for the season. His seventh touchdown. And Lemnoski goes in for 10. That's right, because Leolagi has two. Wait for the extra point. Snaps down, kick is up and good. And with 4.22 left to go before half, 28 to six, Folsom on top on the high school football game of the week. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter you can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Playonsports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. Playonsports.com, high school sports lives here. So early fireworks for Buhat Colony, uh, Ben. But as you said, you know, they were stalled on both of those drives and had to settle for field goals. And That's you wonder, huge. I mean, look at that. Yeah, they, they could have had uh, at least, uh, you know, made this game manageable. Now you just got to get yourself in the end zone just to make sure that uh, you don't get blown out here. Brom to kick. Oh, he boots it this time after the... The trickery, they said, <laughs> but it's going to be a flag. So ball will be at the 35. Yeah, it might be one of those. Or are they going to say a touchback? Yeah, I think they're going to go ahead and mark them there down at, at the 20. So it's not looking good for the Thunder. Marquez has been knocked out of this one. We'll try to get you maybe an update at halftime. And the backup, who had just two attempts on the year, DuPont came in, and he showed his inexperience there on the on the well, uh, great yeah, pitch to I, Miles. I, I saw Marquez coming into the huddle there, so oh, good okay. news there for Buhat Colony to get Marquez back in here. He's out of the gun with trips to the <coughs> left. Now they rotate, split back formation. Inside give for a couple. Miles, the ball carrier, as we approach the four-minute mark here. York needs a touchdown here. Yeah, they, they have to, you know, going into you know, to try to get something going, extend this drive, make this a four, you know, four-minute long drive, if not more. Try to get yourself into the end zone because you don't want to be kicking away down this much uh, to, to Folsom as Folsom will be receiving uh, coming into the second half. Under four to go. They're taking their time. They're going to get a delay game here unless they call a timeout. Now they do, I believe. Yeah, that's their Official second timeout. timeout, actually. Oh. It might be an Oh, someone situation. had a chip stri strap that wasn't strapping. 3.42, and this is a D2 semifinal game. Del Oro and Elk Grove in the other semifinal. The winner will play next week at Sac State. I'll get you an update here on the score after this play. Dew in motion. Dew's been quiet. He gets the ball, cuts the corner, cuts inside, has a first scout or close to it. Yeah, should be enough. Looked like it was blocked by his own man there, but uh, should be enough there for the first down. But, uh, you know, just quickly get you a score here between that Elk Grove and that Elk Grove Del Oro game. Elk Grove leading 17 to 10, 226 remaining in the second quarter. No Grove with the ball. They are moving. Third and one. Tons of time for Folsom if the Thunder gets stopped here. So this is a big play. I think they'll get it. Yeah, it looked like Miles got that push. It wasn't a lot, but he does get the first down. So Thunder with 2.56 to go. 
They'll move the chains. And, you know, Ben, at this point, that's all you need. You know, just, just continue to move the chains and, and work this clock, to, you know, work this clock to your advantage. You know, it doesn't have to be a fast boom, boom play uh, because you don't want to give Folsom the opportunity before the end of the half. Man in motion to gold for a couple. These two teams, Joey, they did have a couple common opponents. They both played San Ramon Valley. Buhawk Colony won 28-24, and Folsom won 49-27, and they both played Atwater. Buhawk won 49-27, and Folsom won 59-12. So they had some film to watch of each other coming in. Short pass on the out route, and it's good for a first down and getting out of bounds. So good play there yeah. as... That'll take him out to the 45-yard line. Yeah, Cody McWilliams doing a good job there of rolling away from the pressure and making sure he's kept his feet in bounds just enough to pick up the first down. And we can see here that uh, Marquez really doing a good job here of, of getting this offense continue, getting this offense to, to continue to move. Power eye So we approach the two-minute mark. Play action. Throw across the middle, has his man, and he dropped it. That's unfortunate, because I think he would have walked in. Tyler Dew, oh, wow. Tyler Dew, you know, Tyler Dew wants that one back badly. Because as you said there, Ben, he had beaten the coverage on that, uh, uh, the corner there. No safety up top. Safety had come in inside, and Tyler Dew beating the coverage there by Rodney Ellison right off the line. And, boy, would he love to have that one back. Marquez did a great job of selling the play action. Put a throw right on the money. The run up the left guard in the, to midfield. Two minutes to go in the half. And we've seen here, Ben, that it's not so much that Marquez can't make the throws in UC. So that's not that's not one of the reasons why they're you know limited on the in, in passing yardage. It's just because you've got two outstanding runners in Stefan Gold and Leon Miles. And why not use him? Why not use the running game? But obviously Marquez, when he has to, he can sling it. 137 to go. <laughs> He's on stage! Oh. <laughs> I wonder if that one. Officials getting the call from the from the fans here all the way up here. He heard that. <laughs> you can see that it looked like Borrell was about a two feet off sides. Yeah, usually Borrell will check with the linesman there to uh, make sure he's on sides there. I'm not sure what Borrell was doing there. So third and ten now puts him back at their own 45. Timeout called by Folsom. They want to, they get a stop here. They're going to try to get the ball back, try to go for more points. 131 left to go before half. 28 to 6, Bulldogs on top of the Thunder on the Sac Joaquin High School football game of the week. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on Schools Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SVP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Playonsports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. Playonsports.com. High school sports lives here. And at last check between Elk Grove and Del Oro, Elk Grove has scored on a field goal, so they now they are now leading twenty to not, twenty to ten. I'm sorry, in the second quarter. Third and ten. Fake the screen. Fake the sweep. Oh, gets away from his man somehow up the right side. I don't know if the defender slipped or, or what, but the Thunder will take it. Pass was complete to McWilliams. Yeah, McWilliams first getting the first catch of the night. McWilliams getting pressure there, and this tight coverage here by both sides. I've seen a number of uh, Buhat Colony defenders lose their footing. That time it looked to me that Mike McQuaig had slipped there on coverage, uh, allowing McWilliams to be wide open. 
McWilliams, 22nd reception of the year. Gold in the backfield. McWilliams split in the slot to the right. Set up the short pass to back to McWilliams to the left side. Yeah, Mike McQuig just coming head on, just a little dump off pass there to get it. One of those yardage situations and, and put McWilliams out into second and manageable situation. Second and six with a minute exactly left to go. Power eye, Gold and Miles in the backfield. Play action, step in the pocket, try to go to Gold, incomplete. Good coverage out there on the left side by Eddie Flores. Yeah, we, play was close there between Flores and Gold. He, Marquez overthrew threw Gold a little bit high, but, Mar, but Flores just bearing down on him right as the ball was getting there, so no uh, flag on the possible pass interference situation. Under a minute to go, 55 seconds. Buhawk Colony at the Folsom 24. They're facing with a third and six. Points here and a little momentum going in the half could be huge. You don't score here. And you give Folsom the ball. They try the, they try the draw to gold and not much doing there. So it's going to be fourth and about four. Yeah, draw was working early on in this ball game and now Buhat Colony goes ahead and take their final timeout here. But uh, as you said, uh, draw play not working there for the Thunder. Take a break as well. 48 seconds to go before half. Folsom on top of Buhat Colony, 28 to six here on the Sac Joaquin High School football game of the week. PlayOnSports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of a high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. PlayOnSports.com, high school sports lives here. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports school broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, Log on to playonsports.com slash SBP. And folks want to let you know that tomorrow afternoon we are going to be covering the Division 6 and Division 5 championship games from Lodi, from the Lodi Great Bowl. And we'll give you updates on those matchups here on the next break. Here we go, fourth and five. Big play here for the Thunder. Rolls back, has his man catch. It's caught at the 15. They needed five, they got nine. McWilliams now with a third after being quiet for the first 22 minutes of the game. He's got three receptions on this drive. Well, absolutely. You know, Coach Swartwood following your lead there, Ben, looking to get McWilliams involved, and he has gotten him involved here late in the second quarter. Miles and Gold in the backfield. Looking to throw. Across the middle, incomplete. Just out of the reach of Edwards. Yeah, McWilliams there again cutting one way and Marquez going on the other shoulder. Uh, close to almost being picked off there, uh, but McWilliams making sure that uh, Bulldogs did not have an opportunity or a shot at it. Second and 10 now for the 15 with 27 seconds left. Marquez under center, gold in the backfield. They'll send Edwards in motion. Gold, deep drop, it just has to, th oh, it's picked off by Leo Loggi, and he might take this for a pick six, cuts back to the 40, Gold's chasing him, 30, cuts back inside, he's gonna go. It's a pick six, 90 yard touchdown return for Bailey, Leo Loggi. Talk about a back breaker as the Bulldogs crowd explodes. Wow, what a return. You know, and I'm not sure at that situation if Marquez is just trying to throw it away or change his mind at the last minute, thought he had a player, a receiver wide open. But one of the situations, one of the problems there that you have in a, the quarterback scrambling and looking for some life and trying to force something to happen, you know, just unable to get it out of bounds. And Leo Loggi, big credit for him, just reading Marquez the entire way and make, getting a good jump on that ball and taking it 90 yards there for the pick six. I thought Marquez was throwing it away, which he should have done. But hard to blame him, trying to make a play. 
Their team's trailing. Kick is good, 35 to six. All of a sudden, we got a blowout brewing. 10 seconds left before half. That's Leo Loggi's third touchdown of the night. He's got him in all different ways here, Ben. He's got a 15 yard uh, He's reception. Doing it all. Yeah, it's a 15, tar 15 yard uh, uh, reception from, uh, from Browning, a one yard touchdown run, and now a 90 yard pick six for Bailey Leo Loggi. That's and a, some Bulldogs. That's a rushing, a receiving, and a pick six. That's a pretty good season for a lot of people. That's a very, <laughs> talk about a productive night there. <laughs> And we still got a half to go. Folks, want to let you know that tomorrow afternoon from uh, the Lodi Grateful, we will starting at 1 o'clock, we have the Division Six Championship between Forest Hill Christian and Brookside Christian. Then at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, we have the Division Five Championship between Waterford and the Grand. So want to make sure that you plug in here to playonsports.com for uh, those both of those ball games and the Sac Joaquin Section Championships. Oh, man, they might get this onside. Oh, huh. luckily they for the Thunder, Gold came up and retrieved it, but it right, was dangerous because yeah. Jonathan Morrow trying to come in and, and, and on his own as well. You know, that's when communication really has to happen between both players because, you know, not only do, do one of the two players have to come down with it because that's a live ball. you got to remember yeah, that's going to be a live ball for, for Folsom if they get to it. But uh, not only do one of the two players have to come down with it, but uh, they got to make sure that neither one of them mock, knocks it out of the other's hand. Run to the right side. Three, two seconds left, and that's it. So Folsom with 35 unanswered, three touchdowns by Leia Loggi and a... Nice performance for the Bulldogs, for the Thunder. They'll go look to regroup at halftime. We'll be back with the halftime show here in a minute. Your halftime score, Folsom 35, Buhok Colony 6. You're listening to the High School Football Game of the Week on the Play On Sports Network. We can get a player up here. Oh, wow, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard uh, graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. 
For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. 
For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. 
For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. Testing. Okay, awesome. And welcome to the PlayOnSports.com halftime show coming to you from Prairie City Stadium here in Folsom, California. I'm Ben Schneider with Joey Gonzalez. Our halftime score is Folsom 35 and Buhawk Colony 6. Well, Joey, um, Buhawk Colony settling for field goals early, fumbling inside the red zone, and then the pick six. So not scoring touchdowns, turning the ball over, 
And the big thing, you know, not being able to stop Folsom. Right. Yeah. You know, it's it's it, it, it's kind of hard to uh, to fall uh, Coach Swatward um, here in those situations. You don't want to be trading picks. I mean, I'm sorry, kicks for uh, field goals for touchdowns. But you know, also there's early on when you're putting pressure like that against on Folsom, you want to take those points and and try to get some something going there for your offense but it did not take long for Folsom's offense to get going uh, they've scored 35 unanswered points there and Bailey Leo Alagi just give him credit I me mean, he's been all over the place has a 15 yard uh, re- receiving touchdown a one yard rushing touchdown and that 90 yard pick six to end the half and it just an unfortunate turn of events there for Buhat Colony and and Joe Marquez as he was bailing out, just trying to throw it away. Credit to Leo Loggi, reading Marquez the entire way, reading his eyes and playing excellent, you know, role at the safety position. Just coming in and, and, and it pretty much looked like it was just, he just snatched it out of the air there before it was able to go out of bounds. And Leo Loggi accounting for three, Knox has one, and uh, Lipnoski has the other one. So five touchdowns there after they fell down six to nothing for Folsom. Browning looks good as always. The defense looks solid. The offensive line's giving Browning time. It's just a well-oiled machine uh, is Folsom. Do we have an update from the other semifinal? Yeah, we do. We do. Elk Grove. Del Oro and Elk Grove and Del Del Oro at halftime. Elk Grove leading 28 to 17. So uh, Elk Grove and I had a step away scoring on a touchdown just before halftime. Inside of eight seconds, I believe, is when they scored. So uh, El Grove moving. Um, and obviously, you know, the, the way that these two are headed, it, you know, looks like Folsom may wind up playing one of those two teams. Um, and that's going to be a great matchup next week between one of those two teams. And it's definitely going to get a lot of attention here in the uh, Sac Joaquin section. So it's, both teams are out on the field, stretching, getting ready for the second half. Uh, we'll see if Buhar can make a... Monumental comeback here. See if Folsom can keep rolling. That's going to do it for the PlayOnSports.com halftime show. Friday Night Football will return in just a few moments with the start of the second half right here on your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. 
We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. even out there yet. Here we go. And welcome back. We're getting ready for the second half. Folsom will return, moving left to right, leading 35 to 6. They trailed 6 nothing. Five unanswered touchdowns. Leilagi with a passing, like a receiving touchdown, a rushing touchdown, a pick six. Troy Knox with a receiving touchdown, and Lucas Olin with a, oh no, I'm sorry, Lubnowski with the rushing touchdown. Those are your five touchdowns for Folsom. And here we go. Second half underway, Friday night football under the lights. It's bobbled by Lubnowski, he has it, but it might have worked in his advantage because he gets all the way out to the 45, close to midfield, what a return. Yeah, not not bad for you know bobbling that one and picking it up. Maybe an overplay or slow down the oncoming rush here from the Buhat Colony kickoff team. Uh, but Lebnowski doing a great job on that return, and he's having himself a good night here tonight. So here comes Browning and the ever dangerous Folsom offense. Averaging 513 yards per game and 46 points. Just unbelievable numbers. It's a fun offense to watch, fun offense to be a part of, I'm sure. And it's a young team, as we mentioned. Yeah. A lot of sophomores. Spread formation as Leilagi in motion. They give it to him. He's got to burst up the middle. Watch out. The safety doesn't even know what's going on. He's going to go to the house. 30. One rush, one play. Bailey Leologi, his fourth touchdown of the day. Second rushing. And he takes that one 48 yards untouched for the touchdown. Yeah, well, on the uh, they had a hold on on the ensuing kickoff, so actually it was a 73-yard touchdown run there. That's right. Yeah, uh, and, you know, it's unfortunate to come out of halftime and for the uh, you know, defense to really not have, be able to hold them in that situation. Give credit here to Folsom and just, you know, putting it to the defense here right away. First play of the second half. Extra point is up and good. And we'll take a break in the action with 11.38 to go. Folsom goes 73 yards in 22 seconds. They lead 42 to 6 right here on the high school play on the play on high school sports network. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com/svp. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week 
from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. And folks, playonsports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. Playonsports.com, high school sports lives here. Miles and Webster set to return for the now depleted Buhack Colony Thunder. Still got a good crowd made the trip from Atwater. They had a good crowd at Antelope last week as well. and They trailed for most of that game and came back in one in the fourth. But a different story here tonight. Yeah. Atwater, a, about a two-hour drive south of here. So they've deflated the Bulldog. Pass the end zone there. Kids jumping on it. 11.38 to go in the third quarter. Buhawk Colony looking to crawl back in this thing. Split back formation. They give it to Gold. Gold at the right guard. He's stuffed. And the defensive line for Folsom after a shaky start really picked it up the last couple of possessions. Yeah, I, it, what's amazing here with the Folsom is that, you know, here we are in the playoffs and usually, you know, defenses and Play tightens up, and Folsom's machine continues to roll, Ben. Yeah, so now here, if you're Buhead calling, you just want to get into the end zone. Marquez under center. He came out for a series in the first half. Try to run the sweep, cut back. To Miles for about three. Yeah, Miles trying to read his blockers. Quincy Capel on the stop for the Bulldogs. At 12-0, led by Chris Richardson out of the Delta River League. Quincy Capel, one of the leaders here for the stout Bulldogs defense, also alongside linebacker Derek Stiles and, and the defensive back, uh, Philip Carter. Third and six. Pressure comes. Marquez does a nice job of getting through the first set of defenders, but he can't get past the second set. And give a quarterback sack to Justin Badger, six foot, 215 pound junior. Yeah, it just, uh, defense, offensive line just broke down. It just took, got a big rush there from the front four of Folsom, and Marquez had nowhere to run. Rodney Ellison at his own 30. Folsom not only beats you on offense, but their special teams is pretty good, too. Ooh, almost blocked. Ellison saying get away from it. It takes a thunder bounce. We'll be down at the 19-yard line, and we'll take a break in the action. 9.39 left to go in the third quarter. It's been all Bulldogs. They lead Buhaw Colony 42-6 right here on the Sac Joaquin High School Football Game of the Week. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SVP. We're back. 9.39 to go. Browning's still out there. Trips left. <coughs> Run up the right guard for maybe two, and that's Lipnoski, the junior. Two games tomorrow, D6 and D5 from Lodi, right? The Lodi Great Bowl. It'll be Brookside Christian taking on Forest Hill at 1 o'clock, and in the afternoon and the evening game, it'll be Waterford and LeGrand. Forest Hill trying to win their first ever section championship as, as well as Waterford. So you have two schools trying to win their first ever section championship. Now it looks like night. you got a head start on your research. Just a little bit. Nice. With a little bit of time, yeah. Not a whole lot of time in between games. You got to look ahead there. I like it. So now I now I got a, a stat going into mine. 8.59 <laughs> left to go. It's been all Bulldogs. They lead 42-6 to six here on the High School Sports Network. Playonsports.com. Playonsports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. 
follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week. From your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Playonsports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. Playonsports.com high school sports lives here. Browning's going to set up the pass to the flat, and it's Lipnoski, the man of the hour. Yeah, Lipnoski just going out there, taking the swing pass from Browning. And a lot of dinking and dunking here for for Browning. Uh, he's had a good, you know, he has gone big here on a couple of plays, but really it's just been Leo Loggi, Lipnoski just chewing up yards here uh, on either these short receptions or the, you know, the, the runs. And then once they get you on the on your heels, they go long. <laughs> <laughs> Richardson seems to know when to pull the trigger. First and ten for the twenty nine at the eight thirty mark of the third. Lemnoski in motion. They give it to him. Look at that cutback in. He's got a good sense of the where the hole is. Yeah, it just does a great job of reading his uh, reading the, his his blockers there. You know, kind of the, the the zone read, the zone blocking scheme and. What you do there is you, you know, wait. You got to have a patient runner and allow for the the hole to develop there, Ben, before you, you know, burst right through it. Let me give him seven on the play. Looked like he got a little bit more than that. So second and seven with eight minutes to go. Trips right. Oh, going for the slot, man. Knox, he got it. To the 45, 23-yard pass and catch from Browning to Knox. Yeah, and, and Jace Webster, luckily, lucky that uh, Knox had lost his footing there. Uh, Webster coming up on press coverage, trying to jam the receiver at the line, and that can be dangerous in this uh, in this offense. And uh, luckily, there the receiver had lost his footing. Trips left now. Chaz Arnold, late check-in. Is Folsom going to take another timeout? So second one of this possession, Coach Richardson down to just one for the half. 7-17 left to go in the third. Bulldogs 42 and the Thunder 6 here on the Sac Joaquin High School football game of the week. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the, j like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. First and ten now for the Bulldogs into Thunder territory, which they've been most of the night. Brown in good protection, going for the home run. Has this man open down the right sideline and staying in bounds. No, they're going to say he went out of bounds. Lucas Owen at the ten-yard line. It's going to be first and goal. What touch by Browning. Hard to believe this kid's only 15. Yeah, a, a great so touch mature there. back there in the great, pocket. Great touch there by Browning, and a and a great route there run by Lucas Owen. He kind of you know taking almost like the sluggo route there, you know stutter stepping, making sure that the defender closed in on him and was able to just beat him off the uh, kind of a uh, well, I want to say a, a, almost like a hook and go there. Trips left. Lomnoski in the backfield. Browning rolling left. He's being chased. Gets rid of it as he gets hit. He's got a good pocket presence, does he not? Oh, he I mean, does. He got rid of that one right in time. He knew he was going to take a hit, too, and he's 
Well, that, that just goes to show the amount of work that Coach Taylor has done with this with this young man. Uh, he's only a sophomore, but really plays the uh, the quarterback position like a seasoned veteran. He's got a lot of poise back there. Really knows how to, you know, the, the line knows how to move with them, can really move the pocket, um, but, but just knows how to read the defense as well as Empty backfield. Lobnowski goes in motion. Just go look for the bubble screen. Now they're going to go for the end zone into the corner. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Oh, who else? Lobnowski is, was that five? <laughs> I'm losing track. Yeah, Lobnowski going in there. Unbelievable. Ten-yard touchdown pass from Browning to Lobnowski. He had the big, the long run to start the half, right? So he's got that five. That was Leo Loggi. Oh, Logie, that's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Leo Loggi having an unbelievable night, but Lipnowski. Yeah, that's not his too bad second, either. right? That is his second. Unbelievable for the year now. Ninth touchdown of the year for Harry Lipnowski. Forty-nine to six. We'll take a break in the action. It's a route, folks, but stick with us. We'll get you scores from other games and get you ready for tomorrow. 49 to 6. Welcome back to Prairie City Stadium. Nathan Schemmel is our broadcast engineer tonight and Emmanuel Chin, our videographer. Fair catch called for at the 34, and that's where the Thunder will take over. It's been a fantastic year for them. There's no way around that. 10 and two on the year. Yeah, this is Buhead Colony's third year into this, right. this semifinals. Third straight year. Two years ago, they lost to the eventual section and state bowl champions, the 2010 Folsom uh, team. Last year, they lost to the section champion, Vacaville. <laughs> Just um, it could be losing to the uh, eventual section champion champ, uh, here because it, it, I don't know who can stop this uh, Folsom machine. Miles and Webster in the backfield. They go to Miles. Good run. And a late hit. So tack on another 15. What was a six-yard run is going to be a 21-yard run. Yeah, Rodney Allison there on the uh, the late hit there against Webster. You know, I just you know going back to to Folsom. Folsom's receivers has just done a number here on uh, the defensive backfield for Buhat Colony. Yeah, you've got uh, Lucas Owen and, and uh, you know, Knox doing a tremendous work there. Uh, you know, doing unbelievable work to, to get open. You know, the stutter step up as they're reaching up to break away. You know, slant and go routes. Fake the sweep and go to the misdirection for about five. We approach the six minute mark here in the third. Yeah, an inside counter there to Miles, trying to keep keep the defense offset. Folsom do though doing a, a good job in all facets you know, of the game, as you said earlier, Ben. You know, with both always focus on the offense because that's what sells tickets. That's what's the it's exciting. But defense, you know, they always say wins championships, and Folsom's defense playing unbelievable well here tonight. There's a sweep. Not much. Bell, the ball carrier, stopped by Badger again. He's a good-looking lineman. Yeah, unfortunate there that uh, Bell slow to get up, looking like he hurt his. I think his he arm fell there, on the yeah. ball. Yeah, knocks that wind out of him. Yeah. yeah. 
But uh, Bell, the the scoring leader here tonight for the Thunder, and if you're the Thunder, that's not what you want. Third and six, pitch back to Miles. Miles is short. Got about three. Stop made by Devin Nooner, another youngster, just a sophomore. Just a very good job here against uh, Miles and Gold, really doing a good job containing them and, and bottling them up and not allowing them to, you know, early on you saw Stefan Gold, you know, run for a couple of big runs. But uh, Leon Miles, it's been a tough night here for Leon Miles. He hasn't really been able to get much going. Uh, Pocket collapses, so Marquez will tuck and run as a first down. Good decision there. Good coverage downfield, but good decision there by Marquez to tuck and run for the first down. Yeah, Marquez doing what he does best is being able to get out there and be show athleticism. As soon as the pocket starts to collapse, he looks for an outlet and uses those legs to pick up the first down. 4.20 left to go before in the third. First and 10 at the 25. Miles and Gold in the backfield. Webster in motion. They fake to him and give to Miles. Miles, another nice run. He's close to another first. I think he has it. He picks up 11 down to the 19. His third trip to the red zone. Make that fourth trip to the red zone for the Thunder here tonight. We've got an injured player. Hate to see that. Yeah, Leon Miles just not able to, you know, I don't know what happened at the end of that, that tackle, but you can see he's out there favoring, grabbing at his uh, right ankle, it looks like, and, you know, you hate seeing that. And, and unfortunate there for Leon Miles and Buhat Colony. And, well, I got a break here. I want to let you know we've got an update here on the score between Elk Grove and Del Oro. Just a minute ago, it was 35-17, Oh, but uh, a little Del separation. Yeah, Del, but Del Oro just scoring right now on a nice run there by Brandon Monroe. So 35, make it 35-24 with 6.24 to go in the third quarter. So a little separation, but uh, Del Oro keeping it interesting there. We'll take a break in the action. we got an injured player down on the field. 4.10 left to go in the third. Actually, we'll keep it here. It looks like he's getting up. Or is he? Take a break in the action. 4-10 left to go. 49 to 6. Folsom on top. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. Alright, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard right. graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program. Go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard right. graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. And we're back, 4.10 left to go. Thunder with a good drive here in the third. A couple of key plays made by the quarterback. Joe Marquez, a senior, most likely playing in his last game. Here, they're gonna it'll look like a handoff run, but Roosevelt Eldridge going nowhere as the Bulldogs stiffing that one out. Led by Sam Whitney, the <laughs> another sophomore, Joey. Yeah, I mean, every well, time a big play, I look at my roster, and it says S.O. It just goes to show where, where Folsom's program is and, and where it's headed. 
you know, uh, and, and we keep mentioning, we've mentioned this a couple of times here that uh, Coach Richardson doesn't like to use the word rebuild. He he reloads, and, and you know, these big, long playoff runs is, is a good time for, for Folsom. You bring up some of their sophomores and get them some experience out here. Set up the screen, wide receiver screen. And a fumble. S who recovered it? It looked like Buhad Colony had still recovered it. And <laughs> that fumble it, actually know, gave him about another four yards. It, it did. It looked, uh, to looked, I think, it was Ray Rodriguez there who wound up with the uh, ball, but another injured uh, Thunder player there for, uh, for Coach uh, I'm sorry for Coach Swarward, yeah. Swartwood. Looks like a serious one, too. Folsom coming off. We'll take a break in the action. 3-10 left to go in the third. It's been all Bulldogs. They lead 49-6. to six. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to Play on Sports. So Cody McWilliams was the injured Thunder player, and he's able to walk off on his own, so that's a good sign. I think the Buhack Colony, a little bit winded over there on the far sideline, Joey. Yeah, Leon Miles was the injured player. Thunder player earlier, and Leon Miles. Give credit to Leon Miles. Uh, he was helped off as you know with his teammates actually carried off. So I don't think we'll see Leon Miles, you know, unfortunately for the rest of the, this game. Looked like a draw, but Folsom doing a nice job of sniffing that one out. Derek Styles, one of the rare seniors on this defense, makes the stop. Be third and fourteen. They got to get to the about the seven, Joey, for first. Yeah, it's a fourth and 16 situation here, fourth down and 16 situation here for the Thunder. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just try to go ahead and just put one in the end, in the end zone, as you said, having to get down to about the seven, maybe six even. Fourth and 16, actually. Somebody called a timeout. It's the Thunder head coach, Kevin Swartwood, said, hey, we might as well make sure we got we know what we want on this one. We'll take a break as well. Two eleven left to go in the third. It's been all Bulldogs. They lead the Thunder forty nine to six here on the Sac Joaquin High School football game of the week. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. So here we go. Marquez rolling right, throws incomplete. So they turn the ball over on downs again, Joe, inside the red zone. They've put some nice drives together. They haven't been able to finish, and that's been the, the storyline kind of here tonight from the get-go. It has, and you wonder, you know, we can go back, uh, you know, early on, taking advantage of a, a big stop. The first time that uh, Buhat Colony had stopped, Folsom, it looked like it may be a, 
you know, a, a lot closer the way that uh, the defense came out and had a great, unbelievable first possession there defensively. It started the second drive on, you know, Folsom's side of the field, but uh, winding up with just a field goal. And so only two field goals. Uh, give credit there to, to the Folsom defense in just uh, taking the ball from there. Browning's still out there. Trips left. Little delay handoff to Leologi, the man of the hour. 49 unanswered points by the Bulldogs has really put this game out of reach for Buhat Colony. Under two to go in the third. Second and three as Browning goes to empty backfields with trips right. Wind picking up here a little bit in Folsom. Chilly night. Not too bad, though. We've been out here in a, a lot colder temperatures than this. Trace Noble. And he was he was on that team two years ago. It was the first time we've called his name here tonight. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah we've been out here on colder nights. We've been here in inclement weather on a... I remember being we delayed a there, thunder a thunderstorm. Delay, yeah. yeah, I'll uh, never forget that yeah, one. Yeah, thunder, lightning storm, and so that was at Vacaville and when Folsom and, and Vacaville met, and Folsom had continued to, you know, they went on to win the uh, the section that year. First and 10 now. Ellison in motion. Oh, we got a backup quarterback in there. Yeah. The no, it's actually a Wildcat with DeGuara. Good looking play, though. Yeah, and Folsom has run that a couple of times in the past with DeGuara. You, know, you see DeGuara, you can almost know what's uh, what's going to happen there. Uh, but uh, they just go ahead and snap it to him, and DeGuara will make his read and run up the middle. 20 seconds in the third. This will probably be the last play of the third. Ellison in motion. They give it to him. Gets some nice blocking on the outside. Gets out of bounds with eight seconds left. Yeah. yeah to stop the clock for the first down at the 45. Yeah, I was able to take it up and just ran over Tyler Drew. Tyler Drew somewhat forcing Ellison out of bounds. but uh, And so that's why they stopped the clock. But, uh, you know, Ellison, there was a good bit of running there by Rodney Ellison. And that is the end of the third quarter. All Bulldogs in that one as well. They lead 49-6 to six right here on the High School Sports Network. Play on sports.com. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to. So the teams will switch directions now. Folsom moving right to left on your computer screen here on CIFSACWAUKINTV.com. To draw into Thunder territory. Nice play there by DeGuara out of the Wildcat. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Jake Browning here for the rest of the uh, the rest of the evening is we should have a running clock now here, Ben. And that's what uh, the uh, uh, we hear the press box Talking about over there, so we get the official word that uh, we're gonna they're gonna keep the clock running. To 
Aguar will hand it off to Ellison. Ellison trying to get outside. He does. Flag comes in late. In the area of a hold. Colson on the stop. Yeah, this is a rarity here going against uh, Folsom. They haven't had, I can't, you know. try to think of, they've even been penalized tonight. They, they're a well-coached team, well-disciplined. They, they are. I think they, you know, probably. No turnovers, too. No turnovers, no. Uh, they came close. There was a opportunity there for Buhek Colony on a fumble, but Buhek uh, was slow to get to that uh, to that recovery, and Folsom had, was able to maintain possession. So some missed opportunities, I'd have to say, here by Buhek Colony, and we may have a different story, but uh, uh, Buhek Colony not able to capitalize. We go to Eddie Flores this time. Junior. Ah, and that correction, I thought it was 27, but it's actually 47. And that's uh, Byron Weldy, another sophomore, but a fan favorite, as he got a loud applaud when he heard their name on the PA system. Brian Weldy, I believe, one of the additions here to the playoff roster, Ben, is, you know, most teams like to do in the area, once they get to playoffs, saying JV season has ended, call up some of these sophomores and add them to the varsity roster. Empty backfield, set up the screen. But a nice tackle by Thunder linebacker Tyson Coffey, senior. Like to see them go out with a couple of big hits. And their defense has laid a couple of licks on Folsom here tonight. They have. They've really kind of put some hurt in there early on. I can remember Lucas Owen being slow to, to get up. Harry Lipnowski took a big hit. And that time Parker Boone the uh, on the other end of that big hit there for Folsom. Third and 15 now for the Bulldogs and Josiah DeGuara, the sophomore, 6'1", 190. Empty backfield, quads right, rolling right. Throwing incomplete. Almost a tip drill, but uh, going out of bounds there and did not allow Joe Marquez an opportunity at it. I wonder if we'll see a putt for the first time tonight. Browning's back out there. See their punter as well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't believe he is. He's just sitting there. He's their quarterback. Uh, they do a good job. He doesn't, he only plays quarterback. He's not a two-way player. But, you know, you don't want to get Browning hurt because yeah, he's very valuable here to this uh, Bulldogs team. Still got section title game next week and then possibly a bowl game. Browning's in there, empty backfield as Thunder shows some heat. We'll see if they bring it. They're going to rush five. They get to Browning. They get to him. So a quarterback sack and a turnover on downs. A little too cute there, too. I, I would have liked to have seen him punt. you got to work on your punt teams anyway, right? Well, you, th you would think that at some point it may come to play, but uh, obviously here for Folsom it, it has ne hasn't come to play here all season long as they're looking to go to 13-0 uh, to and 0 for the first time since uh, the 90s here, uh, Ben. So uh, a great year here brewing for the Bulldogs. Um, but, yeah, I mean, at this point you do because, you know, even though, you know, you have section next week, you have regionals now with the regional playoff uh, happening. That's going to happen the following week after section championships next week. Yeah, there's a run. Uh, I want to mention, uh, we'll give credit or credit to Devin Nooner, the senior in on the quarterback sack on that last play. Good job of staying with Browning bringing him down second and seven with under seven to go here in the fourth and final quarter here from prairie city stadium marquez under center at the 42 has in motion rolling right throwing has a man it's caught it's in the 10 the five inside the five down to the three pass complete to jonathan morrow the tight end 37 yards, Joy. That's the longest play from scrimmage for Buhawk Colony here tonight. Yeah, Buhawk, Marquez just laying it up there, kind of stayed up in 
sorry, kind of stayed up in the air there for a little bit, uh, but Morrow able to stay with it. Oh, and they fumble the snap. Marquez able to jump back on it. He almost would like to see him put it in here. Yeah, you want seniors out there. You want to get some. You want to get into the end zone at least once. Break that plane. First and goal from the three. Under five thirty to go. Loss of three. Then loses it again, picks it up, and stumbles forward. It's going to be third and goal from the three. A little miscommunication down here in the red zone. Yeah, good job again, Nooner, jumping in there. Also, I think Jordan Long there, making sure that Marquez did not uh, extend for that uh, end zone. Because if you're Folsom, you want to try to pitch a shutout here, at least uh, not breaking the plane and keeping the team out of the end zone. Third and three from the three. 453. And he's in, is he in? He's in for the touchdown. So Buhak Colony off the schneid as far as breaking that plane. I didn't see who got the carry, Joey. That was you? Chase Webster, yeah. Webster, uh, congratulations. A nice drive there for Buhak Colony. We saw this last week, remember against, they go for the quick, the, the two pointer. Oh, what a catch. We saw it last week, what a play. Nice grab there by Felix Burrell, the senior. 6'5", 185. 440 left to go, 49 to 14. Bulldogs on top looking to punch their ticket to the section title game next week. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. Thirty-five twenty-four still our score in the other semifinal game, Del Oro and Oh, they're gonna get the onside kick, so over Elk Grove, 35-24. Wow, that one just hit off ricocheted, just like they threw it off. Right, yeah. Off of uh, McClure. Yeah, McClure, Will McClure not able to handle that. I think it surprised Folsom a, a, a bit. And at this time, I mean I can't fault you know, I can't fight fault Coach Swartwood. You just wanna put points, you know. Uh, despite what the score is at this point, you know, you still got four and a half minutes to put up, rack up as many points as you possibly can. First and 10 at midfield. Marquez going for another home run to the right side, coming back for it, making a play on it. it was Morrow, when it's incomplete, it'll be second and 10 with 4.07 left to go. Good defense out there on the outside by Trumbull. So Buhack, Colony will end up 10 and three. Folsom 13 and 0 for the first time, what did you say, since 1990? Uh, in the 90s, I know it was oh. the 90s. Yeah, I missed uh, the date, but I know it was somewhere in the 90s. And 
they still got a couple more games to go. Right. I mean, because that national, that national, that uh, state title team, if you remember, it lost to the uh, Grant. That's Grant right. In the the opening first game. Week. That's yeah. right. That is right. And they went undefeated the rest of the That's way. That's right. I believe Grant's only lost of the year too. It was their only loss that year. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna pick one, you, you want to do it. How Folsom <laughs> did it, right? right? Oh, look, still on his feet. Again, that's Marquez. Marquez showing what he can do, and and that's unfortunate that uh, Marquez really has not had those opportunities. Uh, but uh, again, credit to Folsom to not allow Marquez out and and keep him contained because. Uh, Marquez had really burned Antelope on a couple of those plays when everything had broken down and and Marquez just did not quit. I asked him after in the player of the game interview uh, what gave him, you know, what helps him out in that situation when everything's breaking down and he has to scramble. Uh, he says he just cannot give up on a play. Good run here for another first down. Whistles finally blown dead. Trouble, another stop for the Bulldogs. Yeah, that time Kevin Kelleher now in here for Lee, the injured Leon Miles. First and 10 from the 11. Inside give. Inside the five. Close to a first down. It's gold. You know, and I want to kind of bring up Leon Miles looking across the way over there. He's got the paramedics taking a look at him. They oh, wow. Out the stretcher. So, you know, when it, and you knew it was bad. It took a long time to get up, and he had his teammates carrying him off, and great job there with the teammates looking up and, and keeping that morale. Marquez throws it to Webster. They're actually going to lose a couple yards on the play. So a couple more cracks at the end zone here for Buhawk Colony. You can actually still get a first without scoring a touchdown. Webster in motion again. Oh, big hole. Touchdown. Or did I call it too early? No, oh, there it is. It's Talaher, a junior, one of the... Running back, six foot two fifteen on the nice hole there. They go for a little trickery again. Forty nine to twenty. Clock stops with fifty three seconds left. I don't know, what do you even call this play? As he <laughs> walks into the end zone, Marquez. They gotta get a name for this. That's a Chip Kelly <laughs> special. Is that they call it? The CKS. We'll call it that. <laughs> Here from our vantage, from from our where we're we're at. I think Oregon was the first school I saw do that. Now it's kind of catching on. 49-22. You know, so now, Ben, this talk begins now here for Folsom. If you're Folsom, you're looking at uh, Del Oro or you're looking at uh, Elk Grove. It's, you know, Del Elk Grove still has the, you know, the advantage at 35-24 right now, about eight minutes ago in the fourth quarter. But, uh, you know, Elk Gro Del Oro moving the ball. So a chance to where's that game being played? It's at Elk Grove. Okay. So four seventeen to go in that ball game. Uh Del Grove again with an eleven point lead. And I have to look back at the uh you know, the record books to see last time Folsom had played Elk Grove, but you know that that game's gonna get a lot of attention next sure, week. Sure, absolutely. If those two teams meet up if uh Alas Del Oro is able to do something here in the last three fifty five. This time it's fielded by Morgado. So Buhar give them some credit for making a little bit of a push and showing some character here at the end. A couple of late touchdowns, but the score not nearly as close as the game really has been. It's been about a five touchdown lead the entire time since start of the second quarter. That's our play call there for uh, the extra point. Oh, nice. Thanks Shoe to the string or swinging gates. Thanks to the uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, you had colony. Put that in my play-by-play yeah. play vocabulary. Yeah. 
so we don't have to call it the CKS. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it, folks. We're going to let this one run out as Coach Richardson handshake at midfield with Coach Swartwood and classy, classy Folsom team as always as the two teams will shake hands. Hopefully Leon Miles is okay. That's a bigger story than on the football field. But ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to stay tuned to the playonsports.com for our post-game coverage. We'll wrap up all the action in our post-game show and we'll have an interview with our player of the game. Hopefully that'll be Barry Leologi. That's coming up in just a few moments. Once again, the Folsom Bulldogs have defeated the Buhawk Colony Thunder by a score of 49-22 to right here on Friday Night Football on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. We can get a player up here. Oh, wow, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard right. graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP.
And welcome back to the PlayOnSports.com postgame show. I'm here with our player of the game, sophomore Bailey Le Lealogi. Three touchdowns. You had a rushing touchdown, a receiving touchdown, the pick six that went back 90 yards. First off, congratulations. Uh, you're one step away from another section title. How's it feel? Feels good. You know, I never really had this experience before. I've always seen the teams before us, like our 2010, 2011, go to the uh, sections. So, you know, it's a great experience to finally be where they were at last year and the year before that. Speaking of the 2010 team, we saw your old quarterback uh, up here in the press box. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Was he down on the sidelines at all? I didn't get to talk to him, but, you know, it was just great to see him out there. And Absolutely. So, yeah, and then most of the other team was there, too. I saw some 2011 Tanner Tristine and uh, Tyler Tristine down there. So, you know, it was just great to see him out there and watching us. Absolutely, absolutely. You kind of want to build on what they did and kind of mm -hmm. show them that, hey, we're we're it now and we can do what you guys did. So that's yeah. that's awesome that you got to see some alumni here tonight. Mm -hmm. Now talk about holding them to field goals on that first couple of drives. I told my broadcast partner, when you're playing a, a deadly offense that you guys – you got it. You can't trade field goals for touchdowns. It ended up hurting them. What was that like getting those first couple stops when they went into the red zone? Kind of set the tone for your defense. Uh, it felt good. You know, we were just our whole entire like scheme was just trying to stop them in the run game. And you know, they run uh, traps and ISOs. So you know, we're just trying to miss keys. So you know, we're just trying to watch it and trying to stop them. And then they just got in field goal range, and we just tried to block everything. And you know, it just came out to be 49-22. You know, just stopping them the whole entire night, just trying to. So, you know, do our thing and just get out there. Absolutely. Defense did a great job today. They got a couple late touchdowns, but uh, the score was, I mean, this this game was over midway through the second. What was Coach Richardson's uh, talk to you guys after the game? He said, like, he kept it uh, nice and short. Uh, what, what was his message to you guys uh, after the game there? Mm, he's just like, we did a good job. You know, we well executed. We had some missed, you know, penalties, which, you know, we don't really like to have. But, you know, he's just saying we're going good, and, you know, we're saying he supports us mostly the whole entire time. But, you know, he's just keeping us positive and just, like, making us think about the next game and how we're going to prepare, you know, just keeping our focus on the next game. Are you worried a little bit that since you have so many sophomores on the roster and you guys haven't really played any close games here lately, are you worried that uh, some inexperience might – come to fruition here in these next couple games at least in the section title game or how do you guys kind of deal with that being that you guys are so young Browning's a sophomore you're a sophomore and the list goes on and on how do you guys kind of deal with that are you just too young to know any better <laughs> well we just practice against all of our seniors our seniors have the most experience they played against all these teams that they have had for like the last couple of years you know they some of the uh, seniors this year were brought up the sophomore and they've had the experience of playing with all those teams so, like, we're having the experience to play with the senior, our seniors this year, you know, getting us prepared for the next games against what the uh, seniors are going to be like against for other teams. Sure. So, you know, they're just mostly our main key of preparing for each week. Excellent. Yeah, good answer. And uh, it looks like Elk Grove's going to win this one. Now, They, you guys beat them last year in the semis. They lead... Ooh, 35-32, so we'll keep you posted on that here on the postgame show. But uh, you guys beat them last year in the semis. They might be looking for a little bit of revenge. What do you know about that squad if that's who you end up playing? Do you know much about Elk Grove? Well, they got Frazier. I know it was pretty yeah. fast. So, yeah. And then they also got some returning running backs, wide receivers. And then I don't know about most of their line, but I know they're a pretty solid team. You know, they run the power eye pretty good. They're pretty comparison to Oak Ridge, but they're a lot more executed. And they have great coaching staff over there. So, you know, it's going to be a rough game, and it's going to be great. Absolutely. It's going to be another big-time game Friday night under the lights. Uh, that's our player of the game, Bailey Leilagi. Uh, Folsom 13-0 and for the first time since 1990. Congratulations. Thank Good you. game. Thank you. We'll be back to wrap things up right here on the PlayOnSports.com postgame show. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. All right, so wrapping things up here on the PlayOnSports.com postgame show, our final score was 49-22, to Folsom on top. They will return to the section title game for the second time in three years. They'll play the winner of the Elk Grove game that's got about 30 seconds left. Uh, 
it, no matter who they play, you better bring your A game. You better eat your Wheaties, and you better get some <laughs> stops, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's it. You know, find a way, figure out a way to get to to Browning. Uh, figure out a way to to play good coverage there on those receivers. Receivers did a tremendous job of breaking press coverage here on Buhead Colony all night. Allowed Browning just had a little bit of extra time to find his receivers downfield. So it's going to be. I'll tell you what, though, man. It, it, despite who wins this contest, and it looks like it's a great one brewing down in El Grove tonight. Uh, but despite who wins that game, it's there's going to be a lot of attention play, placed on both of those two squads next year going into next week's uh, uh, championship game. Absolutely. And uh, Folsom, just a high-powered offense. I mean, down 6 nothing, and then all of a sudden before you even blink, it's 35-6. to six. And I, you mentioned Brown, you got to get to him. Yeah, he was – I don't think he – got hit more than a couple times here tonight. So pressures on him is going to be a key factor Absolutely. for next week. Any last thoughts before we wrap things up? I just got to say that uh, I think that, that uh, Folsom's, Folsom's uh, defense is no slouch. You can see Bailey Leologi. One question I had for him was just what was he reading there on that pick six, an unbelievable yeah. pick six. He saw it the entire way. Uh, Marquez tried to throw it out of bounds. Leologi read his – his, his, his eyes the entire way and is able to pick it off and, and run for the pick six. So great defensive play, both sides of the ball there for Bailey Leo Loggi and the Folsom Bulldogs. Yeah, and hats off to uh, Bayhawk Colony for, too for a, a fantastic season under head coach Kevin Swartwood. They end up 10-3. and three. No shame in that at all. They, one of these days they'll get by the semifinals and, and win this and get to the championship game because that's three straight years, right? In the right, semis. three straight so years have been stalled. One in the of semis. these days they'll get they'll get over the hump. But uh, uh, congratulations to uh, Coach Swartwood and the rest of them. Uh, our finals here today for the D two semifinal Folsom wins forty nine to twenty two, and we will see you next week. We've got a final, yeah. We've got a final there between Elk Grove and and Del Oro. So Folsom's going to go ahead and take on Elk Grove in next week's Division two section final. We'll see you there from Sac State. Thanks for joining us, everybody, for our uh, in-game producer, which is Nathan Schemmel, and for our videographer, Emmanuel Chin, alongside Joy Gonzalez, I'm Ben Schneider saying so long. We'll see you next week from Sac State for the D2 championship game between Folsom and Elk Grove. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. One shot at this.